his agenda is going to be, the agenda he's going to work with with his fellow legislators. So, starting January 1st, certainly, the Niagara County Legislature is always going to look at smaller government. They're going to look at reduced taxes. And certainly, they're going to look at doing more with less. That cliche phrase is always used, but it's so important today, especially with the unstable condition in Albany, where uh, the fiscal uh, disaster that has occurred there, some of that could be pushed down to county level. Cost shifts are killers. Niagara County, and I'm sure I can speak for many other counties across the state, have worked very hard to have balanced budgets, to have fund balances, and keep taxes either uh, down to zero tax levy or a small increase. So we have to be ever vigilant, vigilant from the standpoint that we have to work to keep that tax at that level. That means that uh, we can't turn our back on our state legislators and run away. we got to work with them and hope that we can keep everything within the level that people can afford. Because people are at a saturation point now. Property taxpayers really can't take much more. And you know, people will vote with their feet as that uh, statement is made. People leaving the state because they just can't afford the state of New York. So let's hope that January 1st is a new start, that uh, governments can work together, whether it's the uh, county government, with our state government, and also with our federal officials, to make the services and make this country and this county more livable for our residents.